What's up everybody, Derek from Sony here again. And last video, I talked about the windscreen on the ZV-1, this little guy here, how much of a difference that can make in reducing wind noise as you're vlogging. Today, I wanna go a little bit deeper on what this guy can do in terms of giving you a fantastic vlogging experience uh, with a lot of its different features. But the best way to really do that is to kind of show it. So we're gonna try a couple of things out and see if I can show you really what the benefits are gonna be and why you might wanna go with the ZV-1. All right, so for you wandering vloggers that are out there, you probably face a different sort of challenges that some other vloggers do. And some of those things are gonna be things like camera shake, uh, potentially missing focus, uh, as well as having some extra wind noise. Uh, we're gonna fix that with the ZV-1. So I'm gonna turn on some of those features that make it such an awesome vlogging camera for the Wanderer. And we're gonna see what we think. So now I already feel a lot better about this knowing that the active steady shot on this thing is gonna make this so much more palatable to your eyes versus what we just saw with the crazy shake. I also turn on the eye autofocus, which does a tremendous job making sure that no matter where I am in the frame, the focus is gonna stay on my eyes it does a really good job even if you have glasses or sunglasses on as well. I did also add the windscreen as well. Not that it's terribly windy, but it should hopefully help reduce any extra wind noise that might have been recorded on that previous clip as well. So this makes for a much better experience overall for somebody who might be out wandering. But at the end of the day, I know that my auto is going to be clean. I'm going to be in focus. My exposure is going to be good. I didn't mention that. Uh, the auto exposure with face priority. So even as I go in these areas that are shaded or brighter, uh, I know that the exposure on my face is gonna be right. <clears throat> and I want that to be the case because obviously as the vlogger, I'm the star of the show and I wanna be in focus. So the ZV-1 does a tremendous job for the wandering vlogger. So another feature I did wanna to touch on and I wanted to kind of call this out a little bit independently um, is the background defocus. So right now you can kind of see that this is pretty clear behind me, which is great. Sometimes you want that, but sometimes you want to stand out a little bit more. So there's a one button press, there you go, to defocus the background. It does a really good job of, of softening it up. So to, again, me being the vlogger, I want to stand out from the background. So this is really going to help me do that with one simple button press. But some of you out there are probably going to say to yourself, but Derek, I don't vlog outside. I don't need to worry about wind noise. I don't need to worry about steadying everything because I have a tripod. I don't need to worry about all that stuff. The idle focus, that's awesome. But at the same time, I don't need that extra stuff. Is this still the right camera for me? Well, there are other ways to vlog. So if you're one of these people, so some of you aren't wandering vloggers and some of you like to vlog from home, maybe a little bit of a studio type of thing, talking about maybe your lifestyles and your family, maybe you wanna show some cooking skills, maybe you wanna show some art skills. There's a lot of different things that you can show and there's a couple challenges that you might face too that the ZV-1 addresses. What I think is probably one of the most impressive ones is the product showcase. So have you ever had one of these situations where you're showing something such as this awesome kiwi? Uh, but the focus isn't on the Kiwi, it's on me. So I can block my face and I can show you, but it kind of takes a little bit away from what you're trying to do. You gotta have an extra hand for you to do that, block your face, and it just kind of makes things weird. But with the product showcase, it's able to actually focus very quickly on whatever object you have in front of the camera. So I'm gonna turn that feature on and we're gonna see the difference. So the product showcase mode is on. So if I wanted to show you that Kiwi again, there he is, there's that kiwi and all of its kiwi goodness. And then it's right back to my face. So if I wanted to show you something awesome, say a kiwi or maybe even a paintbrush, I know we're just kind of changing it up here. Look at the focus shift on that is just awesome and it goes right back to me. With the eye autofocus, it's able to track me wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, but then if I want to show you something, there it is, right in front of your face. So it makes it super easy, it's less to worry about, and again, separates you from the rest of the crowd. Now another really cool feature that the ZV-1 has also is the flip out screen, which you probably already know about, but obviously I can now see what you are going to see 
and know exactly that I'm gonna be in frame, I'm gonna be in focus, I have decent lighting. Uh, it makes it a lot easier, one less thing to worry about as well. Keep knocking those things off the list of frustrations that you're coming across. Some other little touches that I think are great is of course the easy to hit record button on the top so you can't miss it. But then you also have the tally light on the front knowing that it is gonna be recording can make a big difference because you might be having a great moment and then you realize you didn't actually hit the record button and that can be a big problem. And to facilitate carrying this one around a little bit easier, you can add the grip, which gives you access to the zoom, record, start and stop, uh, and that just makes it a little bit easier and the flexibility of having a little mini tripod is a nice little bonus. And of course you have the flip out screen so you can see yourself and see what you have in frame to make sure that you stay in frame. Now one of the other features that I think is absolutely standout on this camera is the product showcase. Uh, I did a little trial with it uh, with a Kiwi and a paintbrush. With the ZV-1 with the product showcase mode, you know that you can just show right in front exactly what you're trying to show. The, the focus will shift and then it'll go right back to you. And finally, audio uh, with a front-facing microphone, I think makes a really big difference uh, even with what it is. Uh, and it works great by itself. Uh, but having the windscreen, which I am a huge fan of because I hate wind noise. Uh, on top of that, if you're more of a studio type of vlogger, you do have the mic input on the side as well as the hot shoe, and you can even adapt an XLR input. So extremely flexible, it uh, covers all the pain points of picture quality and audio. I, I personally think this is the ultimate vlogging camera currently until Sony comes up with whatever they're gonna do next. All right, so I hope that helps you decide whether you wanna check out the ZV-1 to make it your next vlogging camera. But leave a comment below. I'd like to know what your thoughts are and what features you think are the most stand out on the ZV-1 that you're excited to try out. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.